Hey guys, Jason here for the love of tractors, and I am uh, kind of with this next uh, set. I don't know, set's not the right word. Next, next couple uh, down on the farm tractors by Greenlight Toys, and <laughs> with the camera so you can actually see that. So I'm with the Ford 8 in. So we have the 47 model, which gets sort of the uh, grayish cream and red paint scheme, and we've got the 49 model with the yeah, grayish or whitish kind of and blue paint scheme now i'm just going to take one of these out of the package because i don't know i may i may sell one of these off i don't know um i don't really have a need for them on my display but you know <laughs> whatever we'll see um but i think these are neat little tractors and i can't wait to get one of these opened up and take a look at it so i think we're going to go with this one uh because um my grandfather and now my uncle has uh, a real one of these on the farm and um, it has been restored and it looks great and it's uh, drives great and all that good stuff so I think I'll have this on my model farm somewhere probably in my antique tractor shed so let's talk tractors y'all Alright guys, so got it out of the package, and you can see this is a little guy. I mean, you're, you're going to pull like a one bottom plow with this. I don't know, maybe these would pull a two bottom. I bet they would, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Depends on the soil and how deep you pull it. <laughs> so, you can see this is a little guy. Like, let's just, let's compare this 8 in to, I don't know, my, my 83 45RT. So, <laughs> yeah, that's little. <laughs> but uh you know of course back then you know there weren't there weren't a lot of big tractors i'm gonna do a little adjusting here real quick okay there we go um so anyway so again this is a green light tractor series and you know you're gonna pay five bucks for this tractor now um is it worth five bucks i'll, I'll tell you without even going through some details and looking at it here i think it is this is a great little tractor it's nicely detailed uh there's there's some die cast to it uh quite a bit actually i think the wheels and tires look pretty solid pretty decent and uh you know there aren't a whole lot of ford eight ends on the market so <laughs> there you go now this kind of gets the ertle style hitch back here now i don't know what you're going to hook up to this because there really aren't any small implements available uh, i guess you'd have to build something um you know operator station's pretty bare i mean there's just not much going on here which is sort of understandable now you can see right here there's there's sort of a bump and i've i've been trying to decide what that bump is is that uh is that maybe a hydraulic hookup and i kind of feel like it could be or um you know is it some sort of it's supposed to be a hitch of sort i, I don't know <clears throat> but i guess my point is i feel like this is ripe for customization now i probably say that about all of these but um the reason i say that is you know just a few levers and maybe a work light on a fender and maybe a couple work lights on either side of your hood up here you know here and here i think you'd have a cute little tractor um you know they'd look great on a display you know this would be this is one of those tractors where here in 2018 almost 2019 these get used as garden tractors you know you'll see guys at least in my area plowing up uh you know their neighbor's garden with this thing with something like this so um uh, that would be really cool on a display to do that i think it'd be it'd be a neat neat uh, setup anyway you know one of the things i like about this and this whole green light series is i feel like we get really nice detailed castings particularly the engine here and i'm sorry the camera's being wonky but um you know there's just uh there's some decent detail there for a five dollar tractor now up front here i mean check out this cool b bumper guard brush guard thing we get i mean you know that's that's <laughs> that's pretty good for a five dollar tractor you know like i said wheels are good now they don't steer i am sure it won't be long before somebody one of you guys probably are making a steerable front end on this thing and that's going to be sweet you know we come around this side and we've got more detail there i mean you can see they use they use paint nicely to to bring out the relief and you can see we've even got like our steering shaft there um you know that kind of goes along the side and all that so um, you can even see under the steering wheel there we've got pedals and uh, brake and clutch and all that sort of stuff so 
Uh, not a ton of detail on these wheels, but there wouldn't have been. I mean, quite frankly, that's fairly accurate, especially if you look at this front front one. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. Eh, never, it never cooperates when you want it to. Um, <clears throat> anyway, there's, there's some nice detail on these rims. And so, once again... I just really have to give it to Greenlight Toys. They've uh, they've really hit the nail on the head here with this series. This down on the farm series. Now there was a lot of uh, anticipation for the series, and then when we started seeing pictures, there was a lot of like, oh crap, are these going to be worth a darn? Well, now that we've got them in our hand, yeah, heck yeah, for five bucks, these are, you know, great track, great tractors. Excuse me. So <laughs> anyway. I guess that's that's kind of it. Quick look here at uh, this um, Ford 8N. This is the 1947 model, if you're a Ford aficionado. And uh, from Greenlight Toys here, great great little 164 scale tractor. So, all right, guys, that'll do it. I appreciate you watching. As always, please give me a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Happy tractor hunting. Have yourselves a Merry Christmas.